Hello everyone. Hello. Lisa's here. I am. And holding in your hand is Mad Things to Make from Vision On by Wilf Lunn. Mm -hmm. So this is a book from 1976 I believe. Okay. Uh, if you look on the back, what does it say? It says, if the worms in your garden want woolly coats for the winter or your goldfish bowl needs a starting handle then this is the book for you. Wilf Lunn won the one of the behind, sorry, that doesn't make sense. One of, oh, it's, it's what? there's a word missing. One of the behind. Perhaps there's a rude word. Maybe <laughs> behind BBC Television's Vision On introduces some of the zany inventions from the remarkable program, together with others that have never been revealed before. Who cares if the starting handle turns out to be an exercise in bending glass tubing? That very technique is later put to good use in the funny film team, which is funny in more ways than one. Enjoy this how-to-do book with a difference, if your nerves will stand it. £1.95. Yes. Right, let's have a look inside then. Okay. Now, this book comes with a bit of a warning, doesn't it? Yes. Um, in the, I'm not sure... You should really do any of it. If you're a kid, especially, you should, yeah. you should attempt to do some of these... Yes. ...some of these things. But, uh, so what have we got? Contents. We'll flun at home. Now we start off with some easy things, but then there's things like exploding bird scarers. Yes, in uh, the sort of way that you'd see um, Wilf Lund's inventions on Vision On, there are things that explode. Um, and yes, there is there is the use of like blow torches and Bunsen burners in mm -hmm. this. So uh, okay, turn over. So, so here is Wilf Lunn at home and yes he's got various things there and according to the key a halitos halitosis high breathing hat the sails help to determine wind direction Wilf Lunn megaphone bird a pork manteau a beef case or ham bag <laughs> And there's a cannon, which if you look, is a bit scared. It's got its finger in its ear, so it doesn't. Uh, and then there's a there's a there's a cannonball on his foot for shooting himself out of a small cannon. So that's what Wilf Lund gets up to at home. I, I wonder if that is his home because it's got very big windows. It's got very big posh windows. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure it, this is home. Okay, it's just a home. It's a home. Okay, turn over there. So there's some lettering. So it's just a. Sort of a, a cheery font, mm -hmm. but uh, there are some kids making lollipops out of the letters. Uh, the girl looks a bit unsure. I like the knees that they've got. They're real sort of cartoon, <laughs> sticky out knees, aren't they? But there we go. Okay. Idiot origami. Uh, how to make some hats. So there you are. Paper folding. Any good at paper folding, Lisa? No. Not really. Okay. Mm. But yeah, this book was in the uh, library at middle school, and it okay. Don't know. It was always being taken out. So I think I, I think I might have had it once. Um, you can make a talking bird, apparently. So there they are, and there's some talking birds on a thing, and you turn the handle, and their mouths open up and down. And there's a cow. Does it look like a cow? It's looking at the camera, so... So it must be a cow. Cows are like that. But yeah, this was a very popular book at school. A talking fish. You pull the string and its mouth opens, I suppose. But yeah, there we go. Right, so all this is all, you know, this is all fairly safe at the moment, because it's mm -hmm. just, just paper folding. But what have we got over the page? Oh, a five-pointed star with one cut. Might actually have to try that one one day because if you fold it all right and then cut it you, I think they did this on um, uh, QI once mm -hmm. a Quasimodo coat hanger yeah. uh, silver soldering clean the joint apply flux mixed with water here we go heat until red hot with a blowtorch keep keep the joint the, the torch on the joint allow the apply the solder allow to cool uh, so there's Quasimodo with his um, coat hanger. But I really hope that the kids that took this out at middle school didn't start getting blowtorches no. out. 
Exploding bird scarer for use on milk bottles and window boxes. It's a smiley face thing. The the bird comes along. Uh, Wilful and bird scarer with with added shrapnel. Super dreadnought. <laughs> Because it's uh, so. How would that actually help your milk bottle? It'd blow the milk bottle up as well. Well, as, probably yeah. yes, but yeah. When the arms are moved, catch C releases the lever. The hammer swings up, exploding the cap. So there's a load of caps in its head, right. like you used to get on cap guns. Uh, yes. Okay. You need uh, toy pistol percussion caps and a gullible bird. Do you know any gullible birds, no. Lisa? <laughs> Another exploding bird scare. That one involves a mouse trap and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, when the bait is pulled or a bird sits on the arm, the strings A and B are pulled, uh, releasing the catch at C. The trap E snaps onto the cap, which explodes, alarming the bird. And there you are. How, there's how to make it. Yes. Mm. Okay. An economy shopping bag. Well, that's dinky. You can sort of buy those, can't you? You can now. Sit in some sort of sort of card shops and gift shops you can buy mm. tiny little I know when we went to the uh, Isle of Wight in the sort of gift shops you'd have uh, bags with your names on mm -hmm. with your name on and you could fill it with uh, with sweets couldn't yes. you and things like that okay mm. next please a magic mangle oh this is an old trick you wind in a picture of a spotty dog into the mangle and the other side of the mangle all the spots have come out and uh, that's got sort of two threaded things the the first picture goes in and disappears and a, a new picture comes out to replace it so that's quite fun uh things you can do with a mangle you can straighten snakes uh, curl your hair or uh it what they call a bold bird abater so you can give it a load of feathers for some reason but the hair looks a bit like colin baker in trial of a time lord doesn't it mm, possibly yeah. okay a useless ring holder um, oh, now we are into plaster of Paris now as well. So I'm imagining a load of kids that, that got covered in plaster of Paris or stuck in it or something. So yes, um, so that, there's there's the rings on the glove. But do you remember much of Wilf Lund's stuff, Lisa? I remember him on Next page, Lisa, then. probably. Yeah. Um, blowing stuff up. I remember. I definitely remember. Um, and his moustache. Jigsaw as well as. Uh, vision on an air cooled toasting fork or cat and lady tormento so yes there's a fork prongs i'm going to sneeze <laughs> he's a good god mom <laughs> you sneezed on me thank you and we've landed <laughs> there's another one sorry about that folks uh, next please they look a bit cruel actually those a pretty polluter. It's a sort of, it's like a sort of gun thing, and you pull the handle, and smoke rings come out. It's a smoke ring machine, um, and like I like this as well. You will need a piece of soft rope soaked in paraffin, allowed to dry. This is lit and extinguished. The smouldering end supplies the smoke. Um, so yeah, you have this sort of ring of material in the end, and if you tap the, the sort of balloon skin, it makes smoke rings. I'm not sure that's how Gandalf makes them. There's one with sort of steel balls, like mm. perpetual motion machines. Uh, this device will also blow out candles, apparently. OK, what have you got there? A bubble-blowing fish hat. So there's a rather fat-looking fish. Oh, God, now we've got water and electricity mixing here now. How it's made. Fish made from papier-mâché on a balloon. Blower motor batteries, uh, soap tank, so yeah, bubbles come out of the of the thing. I always, I always used to like machines that blew bubbles. Um, not exactly useful, but I always thought they were pretty. So there you go, some of those. Next please. A motorway Moses hat. So if you've got millions of children trying to cross the road, it's a hat that says stop on it. And there's a tiny little crossing there. It's not very, not a very useful crossing, but so there's the there's the hats. What's uh isn't it the hand of Zoanon in the face of evil, which is a glove, which is really a hat. Yeah, it's 
cricket glove, isn't yeah. it? It's meant to be a, like a space glove. A knitted motorway Moses hat. There we go. Got big oh big fingers. What's this? What's the, the a knitting pattern. Knitting Are you any pattern? good at knitting? No. Oh, blimey. That's one for knitters. I'm definitely not a, not a witty little knitter. Are you? No. 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 Next then. Everlasting bait for when the worms have gone. Uh, so yes, you make a sort of worm thing. And the idea is that you lower the bait into the water. The model fills up with water. The fish looks a bit surprised. When you lift it out, the worm, there it is, squirts water. So yes. Any of these tempting you yet, Lisa? Uh, no. no. A thank you for letting me out of the cupboard sculpture. So it's a sort of square head with pimples on it. With added pimples, as it says. You will need modelling clay. Uh, I never had modelling clay in my house. No. Did you have modelling clay? No. It's that Blue Peter thing, isn't it? That you know, yeah. of course, everybody's got like a violin or mm. or stuff like that. Next, please. A violin. Uh, yeah, you know, resin from a violin. Oh, okay. That you should use or things like that. It's all these stuff that you never had. What's that? Oh, that's what happened to the goldfish bookmark. Oh yes, I've seen these before. You've got a sort of goldfish thing um, with a sort of wind-up tail with an elastic band. You paint it to look like a goldfish. You put it in the, the, the book and it, when you open the book the tail flaps around. Uh, hygienic kissing lips. Dreadnought smile. How to make papier mache? You used to do that at school a bit, did you? Probably, I don't really remember. Okay. A model mollusk for mummy. Bread dough, so. White bread, glycerin, lemon juice, and glue. <laughs> Remove crusts. So, what's that? Put a little glycerin on your fingers while it's modelling. Allow the model to dry, then coat, paint, and varnish with three parts. Uh, water and white glue. Um, there, oh, there's, there, there's the useful megaphone bird. We could do with one of those in for the podcast. When you speak into the beak, your voice is amplified through the tail funnel. Tuba. Yeah, tail shape made on a tuba bell. Because, of course, you've got a tuba bell in mm. your uh, attic, haven't you, Lisa? Yes. Go and get your tuba out. Mm. OK. More. A funny fountain. Oh, these are quite clever. So it's a fountain that spurts and it goes back into its own tail. Made out of paper mache and it's all done with bottles, sealed bottles with pipes and things. And they both got water in them. You pour water into the fun away and then that, that's the increased pressure in bottle B um, pushes in through C into D and it comes out of E and it goes back into A and it goes round again. This fountain will run for a long time without more water. More funny fountains, bloke with a flower, I think that's some sort of mermaid, and there's a whale. Okay. Mm -hmm. More, more? Yes, hang on. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, they're fairly thick pages, so I think that's right. That's it. Yeah. No. Oh no. Okay. A recreate the old time sound of the country with a clip clop machine. Uh, if you read that, it says kipper yoghurt and egg and lettuce, I think. Is that lettuce? Turn it upside down. Does that say lettuce? I think it does. It just yeah. doesn't fit on there. No. Okay, don't worry, there uh, yes, this machine works. You turn the tail at the back there and the, the things go up and down and make clip-clop noises. Silver solder and flux again, and oh, we're back to, to metal work. A worm cosy that you can knit. A hammer four nails into a cotton reel and lots of threading and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like worms, Lisa? Would you make I them cosies? Like a high yeah. altitude bird baffler. This sort of balloon thing with a face on it. And the bird's definitely baffled in that picture. Yes. Uh, when the balloon is rising, carefully light to the cotton wool and it should fly over. Oh, I can see the word methylated spirits there. <laughs> that's not going to be, that's not going to end well. <laughs> 
for your bored budgie, a dancing dick. So you pull his string thing there between his legs and he dances up and down. I'm sure I probably would too. <laughs> uh, but yes. Okay. Or a climbing clawed. So yes, he's he's on the string there and the, that budgie doesn't look unbored even now, does it? When the string no. is pulled, Claude climbs the string. Okay. Two granny distresses. Number one, the yoghurt surprise or finger in my food. Look what I found in here, granny. And granny's looking um, queasy because you make a hole in the yoghurt carton, you push your finger in through the hole and put red paint round the end, round the middle. So it looks like there's a severed finger in the yoghurt pot. Okay? Mm, yes. Uh, some staring eyes. That yoghurt pot thing reminds me of last of the summer wine when Compo had a, a matchbox and he used to open it and show it to people and they, they'd look disgusted. You never mm -hmm. knew what was in the matchbox, but there you go. Okay, any more? Stabbing eyes. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done the eyes. How to blow an egg. Uh, you will need a glass tube, a needle, a bowl of water and a fishtail Bunsen burner. I can't even remember the last time I've seen a fishtail Bunsen burner, for goodness sake. Uh, a starting handle for a goldfish bowl, which is a bent tube. Yes, how to, how to bend glass. It's a long time since I bent glass. I did do it once or twice in the lab, but it, again, it's, it's been a while. A buzzing blue bottle. Uh, there you go. And what's this? A hovering fat cat exerciser, which is a balloon on a sort of tray thing. Uh, aluminium plate. The balloon deflates, causing the plate to hover. Basically, it's a, ho a homemade hovercraft powered by a balloon. Right. Uh, so seconds of fun there. Because yeah. <laughs> it, well, it's not going to last very long. No. The invincible worm. Um, it's a worm that it's got thread in it, and when you... When anybody goes near the worm with scissors, you pull the thread and its middle bends out of the way, so it doesn't get snipped. <laughs> Other things in the zigzag zoo include uh, some sort of giraffe, or some, some sort of ostrich, and mm -hmm. a crocodile or an agulator, I'm not sure which it is. Seagull doom, bird bombing kite. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Uh, how <laughs> it looks very vicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got an egg in it. It's made from an egg, so it's not that deadly then. That's OK. There you go. How to make the egg-dropping bird kite. <laughs> OK. And finally, a project to think about. You've heard of ships in bottles? Well, this is a Wolf Lun bike in a bottle. Removing a cycle from a bottle. How do you do that? OK, well, I think that proves that Wilf Lunn is a very strange genius, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. OK, let's go there back to him. And there hat. he is with his hat. And, yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.